Today, we are going to talk about significant figures and how to determine the number of significant figures in an inexact number. We will discuss five guidelines that we will use to determine the number of significant figures. We will review the guideline and then look at one or more examples that illustrate how that guideline is to be used. Additionally, we will introduce the use of scientific notation to aid us in reporting the desired number of significant figures. Let's take a look at our first guideline. Any digit that is not zero is significant. Our first example is the number 1,964. Every digit is a non-zero. We have four digits. They're all significant. So we have four significant figures. In our second example, this value 75.32169, it has a decimal point in it, but in this particular example, the decimal point does not come into play. We have all non-zero digits. They all count, they are all significant. So we have a total of seven significant figures in this example. Let's move on to our second guideline. Zeros located between non-zero digits are significant. Our example, 56,090,012, has three zeros in it. We see a zero encapsulated by a six and a nine, or between two non-zeros, and we see two zeros, both of them are between the digits nine and one, again, non-zeros. In this particular example, the zeros are significant because they all occur between non-zero digits. So we have a total of eight significant figures in this example. That brings us to our third guideline. Zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. Let's take a look at an example. We have a decimal point followed by eight zeros and then the number one. The number one is the first non-zero digit in this example. Everything to the left of it, all of the zeros to the left of it are not significant. This value has one significant figure in it. Let's take a look at a second example. We have a decimal point, two zeros, and then we come to our first non-zero digit, which is six. So the two zeros after the decimal point, but before the number six are not significant. The other two zeros in this example are both encapsulated or between non-zeros. So we have a zero between a six and a four, and we have a zero between a five and a two. Those are significant. So again, the zeros before the number six are not significant, but the remaining zeros are between non-zero, so they are significant. This value has a total of six significant figures in it. Our fourth guideline is Zeros to the right of the last non-zero digit are significant if the number contains a decimal point. Take a look at our first example. It's 46.00. The number contains a decimal point. The last non-zero digit is six. Everything, all the zeros to the right of it are now significant. So this number contains four significant figures. Take a look at our second example. We have the number 120. You'll notice that there's a decimal point at the end of the 120. That makes this zero significant. It is the zero following the last non-zero digit two. So in this particular example, our value has three significant figures. All three digits, including the zero, are significant. Take a look at our third example. We have the number 
80.600. Again, there's a decimal point in it. Our last non-zero digit is the number six. So the zeros are significant. This particular example has five significant figures in it. We've arrived at guideline number five. Zeros to the right of the last non-zero digit in a number that does not contain a decimal point may or may not be significant. Let's unpack this guideline with an example, the number 100,000. We have the number one, a non-zero digit, followed by five zeros. What the guideline is telling us is that we do not know whether the zeros are significant or not. That takes us to the use of scientific notation. Let's take a look at the number 1000. As in the previous example, the number of significant figures is ambiguous. We have a non-zero digit one followed by three zeros. We do not know if they are significant or not. But what we can do is we can express this number in scientific notation. When we express it in scientific notation, we have the coefficient one. Within the coefficient, we can now express the number of significant figures that we desire. So we have in this, the way I've written it here in this particular example, I've written this with one significant figure. But I can now add a decimal point and follow that with zeros, which then becomes significant. So let's take a look at another example. We have the number 1.0 times 10 to the third. That is still equivalent to the number 1,000, but because this, the coefficient has a decimal point in it, the zero becomes significant. And I've now reported the number 1,000 with two significant figures. Another example, we have 1.00 as our coefficient. So we have a decimal point, both of the zeros are significant. So we've now reported the number 1000 as with three significant figures. And one more example, we have 1.000. So we have a decimal point, all three of these zeros are significant. So there's four significant figures in this value. And we've now reported the number one th we've reported the number 1,000 to four significant figures. Until